And March Madness has begun once again. Right now, the game clocks are just moments away from tip off in the Sweet 16 against Indiana. And you know what? Don't say that Gamecock fans don't travel because there are a lot of folks wearing the garnet and black up in Albany. Yeah, tip off is in the next couple of minutes. And so, I, first of all, I want to say thanks for choosing us over the Gamecocks, at least for a couple of minutes. We've got team coverage for you in Albany. Becky Buzz has spent the day catching up with some of those fans. She joins us now live with more. Hey, Becky, how are you? Stadium is almost as great as inside the stadium. It's a little chilly out here, but the Gamecock fans are making me feel warm inside. I spoke with dozens of Gamecock fans who traveled from across the country to witness the Gamecocks take home, hopefully, another national title. Woo! Go Gamecock! Go Gamecock fans are painting the streets of Albany garnet and black. Spurs up, baby! Go Cox! Fans from across the nation are gathering to support the Gamecocks in their Sweet 16 showdown against Indiana. Chip and Beth Morgan graduated from USC in 1985 and traveled from Burlington, Vermont for the game. We're just so proud. I think. Coach Staley and the whole team just represent the game of basketball very well. They represent themselves, their family, the school, the city. It's, it, it, you just can't say enough good things about her and the way she coaches that team, so we're very proud of them. The spirit of the Gamecock fandom runs deep for Christopher and Jamie Como, whose daughters graduated from USC. They drove from North Central Massachusetts. It's in our blood, I guess we could say. Uh, we are diehard Gamecock fans. It's electric. And I'm proud of these colors. It doesn't matter win or lose. I am proud to be wearing the garnet and black. It's Fans say they're ready for Friday's game and even have dreams of cutting down national championship nets. Oh, I think they're going to go the way. All the way. <laughs> uh, they're going to take it all, obviously. <laughs> and of course, if they pull off a win tonight, the Gamecocks will be right back here at the MVP arena on Sunday for the Elite Eight, and we will have all of that. We'll keep you posted on that um, on air and online at WLTX.com. But reporting now in Albany, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. All right, Becky, we appreciate it. We're going to let you go inside so you can watch the game, but we do have team coverage in New York for you. Absolutely. We are so excited to have Chandler Mack there as well, being very busy, getting all the inside scoop on what's going on. And of course, um, we are going to check in with him before the game gets started and he's got to go inside. Well, yesterday, Don Staley told us that her team is currently playing its best basketball of the season. And folks, she's not lying. The Gamecocks outscored their first two opponents in the NCAA tournament by a combined 99 points. And they're not looking to take their foot off the gas pedal anytime soon. And Coach Staley told us that that attitude is the thing that she loves most about this year's team. This year, this team focuses for a period of time and they, they make you feel uncomfortably comfortable with with how they approach the game and then on game day I mean I, I, I would say 75 percent of the time they've they've gotten us to a good place during the game whether that's the first second or third quarters or if we needed to finish the game in the fourth quarter I never feel like we're ever going to lose the game and the Gamecocks will have to bring their A game to the court tonight as Indiana is one of only eight teams in the past five years that have handed the Gamecocks a loss. We'll have highlights and reaction from the game later at 11. Reporting here at MVP Arena in Albany, New York with the Gamecocks, Chandler Mack, New 19, WLTX. All right, Chandler, we like your fun facts, but settle down on the Indiana beating the Gamecocks fun <laughs> facts. But we appreciate you.